Oh my god. Oh my god. That's what I feel like. Oh my god. I'm gonna fucking. I'm gonna fucking. Billy, what did I'm you think? Fucking. What did you think of that sub? <laughs> It was good. Would you recommend it? I would recommend something that is oh my God, not... I taste that burp. That's gross. <laughs> <laughs> I would recommend something that didn't have um, a steak on it, though. Because, yeah, that steak was... The steak is not thing. good. The steak is not good. Like, we it all know there. it. We all know it. Yeah. But, like, Fabio doesn't get any different kind of steak. And I don't blame him, like, in it's a sense. It's probably cheap. It's cheap, exactly. But, like... You should get some... New York strip line. No, he doesn't have to go that far. No, yeah. <laughs> just you, like you get just get shape. better, like 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 Prime. like Prime. more. Steak no, like more, like more have. seasoning on the steak. Yes. Yeah, it just needs seasoning. That's really it. So a little bit of fat would be nice too. Yeah. Just a teensy bit. Yeah, a little bit of a little bit of seasoning would be good. Oh, I see you still have your gravity shoes. Yeah, Never I like took them off. I like that in, in this between game. Games. They kind of like. Um, don't concern yourself with getting like some of the same old upgrades that you've had in previous games, which I, I think is good. It doesn't pull the fucking Metroid. Yeah. Where you gotta fucking get everything again. It's like, just leave some of the things on. Yeah. Let's do an amazing grace. Oh, yeah? We're gonna get copy struck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> is that... Do you think amazing grace is probably I th I think that's in public. the... I think that's public domain. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it is. Especially since I don't know. Funeral, so yeah, if they, old. if they, like, if it's like usually like an old folk song type thing or traditional type thing, yeah, it's probably public domain by now. I would think. What do you think Graham's doing right now? I don't know. Hopefully not shitting yourself. No, and then some other lady. <laughs> you were so pumped when that lady farted. It was great. In well, front of me. <laughs> did, did she fart or did she shart? No, she farted. It was a fart. But I don't, you like, don't know. It though. like might have been leading to something more. I don't know. It was definitely you bleeding. Bleeding? <laughs> I don't think that's a shart then. Unless it's a very painful that's shart. A bloody shart. <laughs> bloody shart, did you? <laughs> I still have. You know, I've never actually heard that song. Now you have That's once. the whole song. That's have. the whole thing. Yeah. Never once heard Baby Shark, and I'm going to keep it that way. Well, now you've got your own version, you got your Bloody Shark version of it. <laughs> bloody Shark, do 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 do. If my sister ever plays that for me, I will strangle her. <laughs> I will be like, Bloody Shark, do 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 do. And she'll be like, What? <laughs> sing it. Just sing it to Rosie and Ellie. Hey guys, Uncle Billy's here to sing you a song. <laughs> Why do I sound like that? <laughs> Why does anybody sound like that? Right? <laughs> when did I become a southern man? <laughs> oh, southern Colonel male. Colonel Sanders. Yeah. yeah. Billy Waldron. <laughs> Whoa, don't don't put my name out there. People might find this. You just put it out. No, Your I name didn't. Is Colonel Sanders. So there's actually, I'm supposed to get like this running wall ability to go on this, but you can just... Yeah, just just, can just do blur this out instead. his name, okay? Colonel Sanders? Okay, what was the name of this? No. Blur out Colonel Sanders. No. no blur, blur out Colonel Sanders. Sanders. I don't want people to dox him because I said that. Colonel Sanders. I would dox I think Colonel Sanders has got some pretty good internet security. I think he should be fine. Mm. Oh, fucking, um. So my sister and my brother and I are all going to get a sibling tattoo. Oh, wow. Yeah. Of what? The Bioshock symbol? Biohazard? What is it? Weren't you gonna get the bio something something tattoo? I think he was gonna get thief initially. Oh. Yeah, yeah, thief. I biohazard. Thought... I don't know about biohazard. Does biohazard have a logo? Be like the chains. Derek has that. He's got the, the oh, chains maybe on that's his wrist. What I'm thinking of. Derek got the chains on his wrist. It's biohazard. Is that from bio something? Well, biohazard is the Japanese title for Resident Evil. Oh, okay. But. I don't know. She's thinking of something. No, that must be what I, I knew. Something. No, Derek got the biohazard chains on his wrist because the main, the protagonist of that game, that's what he has. He's got okay, chains tattooed on his wrist. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. I thought it was Billy, but it was Derek. Nope, nope it was Derek. Mm -hmm. Derek got. Yeah. That. So mine is kind of nonsensical because it's a thing that only my sister and brother and I. You should get our logo tattoo on your mind. Oh. Um, that's nice, though. Yeah. So. 
The basically the story is that uh, my brother, sister, and I all played Diablo when we were young. Mm. And you couldn't hit the button fast enough. Nope. Um, no, that was Star Fox. Oh, One of the people, Deckard Kane, he says, "Stay a while and listen." Okay. And all three of us thought he said the same thing. Like we never co um, talked to each other about this until recently, but um, we all thought he said. Stay a while and glisten. And we're like, why does he say that? That's so weird. Why, why is he telling us to glisten? So that's what we're getting is stay a while and glisten. <laughs> and we're going to get it wherever we feel like. I'm probably going to get it on my shoulder. That's nice. <laughs> it's a fucking inside joke, baby. Yeah, it's an inside, you know, oh, uh, family, nice. family joke that only us three understand, well, except were, for now you guys. If I were to get a well, sibling tattoo, it would just say, I'm going to beat the shit out of you. Yeah, that's probably what it would say. Yeah. On, your, on your knuckles? Yeah. I'm going to beat the no, shit I'm gonna, out I'm of gonna, you. I'm going to beat the shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to smack the crap out you, punk. Yeah. <laughs> All I know is that Decker King dies, so. Yeah. Well, one of our channel names is Decker King. Dies. I know, that's <laughs> where I get that from. <laughs> that's where I immediately think of. Is, that's the thing, like, I go on to the Discord server every once in a while. I don't ever say anything usually because I just, like, I don't really I don't really spend a ton of time, like, talking on Discord, really. Yeah. Um, unless it's, like, my ban stuff or whatever. Huh. Um, but, like... <laughs> Every once in a while, I go on to that server, and I'm like, what are any of these channels? Like, what are they for? Because they're all named. They must all be, like, inside jokes or something like that. And well, there's, I have, uh, <laughs> there's Wog for the Boys, which is... I'm going to um, shoot the bow. <laughs> so Wog, Wog for the Boys is um, for any chat of uh, Warhammer 40K. Okay. Or any Warhammer-esque related stuff, okay. because... The orcs in that go wah. Okay. So we wag for the boys. <laughs> um, See, I wouldn't, the guy wouldn't get that. Uh, fucking um, uh, I'm a shoot the bow. I'm a shoot the bow. I know that. That's one. that's from Jimmy. <laughs> but I don't know what it means. But so, I just remember that name. <laughs> so Jimmy, uh, since we played Warcraft two back in the day. Um, he he loved to to do the voices for the Warcraft two like um, minions and stuff, uh -huh. and he would copy them. He got pretty good at them, but he can't do the elven voice. Oh, okay. So like he'll be like he'll say the footman thing, he'll say the knight, he'll say all these uh, orc ones, and then when it comes to the uh, the elven archer. It's normally uh, yeah, a very down. like hushed voice, and he just I'm gonna shoot the bow. He just I'm gonna shoot the bow. Yeah, and then he like made a little mod that went on, so anytime <laughs> you played uh, this modded version of it, it would just use his <laughs> use his, his voice voiceover. clips. <laughs> and for the That's most part, stupid. most of them sound really good, and you just get the elf elven archer, and it's I'm gonna shoot the bow. <laughs> So that's where that one came oh, from. Oh, okay. See, I wouldn't get. I would never get that. Um, what are the other ones? I, there's a lot of other ones, and I just, I don't, I, I, I feel weird when I post on that because I'm like, does anybody like me? <laughs> Maybe. Does anybody? Is anybody mad that I'm here? Not, not to my knowledge. Yeah. Um, salty tears. That's just you know, general chat. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Boomercraft is for people who are playing uh, WoW Classic. Okay. I, um, wouldn't, I wouldn't have assumed that from that name. Yeah. Decker Kane Dies is um, FPS gaming normally. I, like, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, I understand that there's like a, a, there is a, a hierarchy of what each one is for, but why is it called that is my question. <laughs> It just is. I know, it's just random, yeah. like, lol, random bullshit. <laughs> you just see, like, uh, all of the the names. Like, we got Tantalizing Tyrants. That's, like, the top, top oh. tier people. I'm uh, Breathtaking uh, Boyars. Right here. See, I'm Breathtaking Boyars. Then we got Naughty Nogers. Uh, Dreamy Dictators. 
affectionate autocrats, lifeless locals, that's anyone that's uh, in uh, like an actual like friend in the in the Richmond area. Oh. Uh, pure peasants because they are the lowest of the low. How many people are on that fucking server? Twenty eight who is it? Plus really? seven no plus oh. two. I'm plus not one, friends with one, most one, of them. Five. I'm not friends with most of them like as much anyway. I'm There's about there. forty of them. Really? A lot of them I don't actually know either. Yeah, maybe they're just like Discord or online friends or something. Yeah. That one I forgot his name, the the one guy. Wasn't there a couple people at Jimmy's wedding that like came from yep. like KFSM is James, the bald guy that was sitting with us at the table. Okay, yeah, I think I remember him. Yeah, that's James. And there's the other guy, I forget his name. I, I only met him the one time, I think. Or if I Arch. didn't meet him. Yeah, I think Arch, yeah, that's yeah, it. That's Archibald. Yeah. Okay. On, uh, on he that, nice. he's, a, he's a naughty noger. He was nice. He's cool. Yeah, Arch is cool. I like, I like Arch. He does art. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think he was showing some of it. I, I don't think I saw any of it, but yeah, I think he, he was bringing it up at the the wedding a little bit. That's fun. Yeah. That's cool. He did, um, um, Tobin commissioned for Dennis's birthday, um, uh, drawing from him, uh-huh. and it is a, um, it's a, it's a close-up shot of a Gundam, uh-huh. with the person outside, uh-huh. uh, standing there, you know, doing, like, all proud. Um, but the Gundam has huge tits. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dumb would, would do that. <laughs> that motherfucker. <laughs> so, yeah. And it's like all metal except for the tits. The tits are <laughs> flesh, fleshy tits. <laughs> That's awesome. So, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Daddy, uh, why does the robot have boobies? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Whoever made that is a sick person. <laughs> I'm take this in the bathroom. <laughs> but yeah, he'll he'll do. You know, That's he won't he, he won't do anything. <laughs> he he very much stands against certain perv uh, perv thingies. Yeah, right. But, uh, but well, he he'll well, he'll do it at the price that's right for most things. He's got he integrity. Got standards. He's got integrity as an artist for yeah. what he wants to do. I think that's more than fair. The newest thing that we've been all saying on there is Cummels. Okay. Because there's this thing in uh, World of Warcraft Dragonflight. Uh, they're they're called the Cummels. Uh, they start with a K. We do not spell it that way. No. And um, <laughs> of course not. They are uh, they are very sexual deviants for the most part. But Scooby. Obviously, in World of Warcraft, they are not sexual deviants, but in our minds, know, they are. I didn't even know World of Warcraft was still a thing. Yeah, World of Warcraft is still a thing. They just came out with Dragonflight, the newest... That's a new expansion. Yeah, the newest expansion. Holy shit. <clears throat> when did that game come out? Like, 2008? 2004? 2004? <clears throat> Good lord. That's wild, dude. Yep, 2004. 2004. November 23rd, Holy 2004. Holy shit. It's almost 20 years old. Have they souped that up at all? Or does it still look like it did in 2004? It looks a lot better. It does? Okay. Yeah. It that's still has wild. that same art style. That, I'm sure it does. Yeah, that's wild, dude. I didn't know that. That's crazy. And there's two There's two ways to play it. There is... Um, you can play the current version, which is Dragonflight. Scared. Or you can play WoW Classic. Is this like it's almost like RuneScape? You can play RuneScape Classic, um, or you can play new RuneScape. Yeah, basically. Well, WoW Classic is you know they went back to vanilla, and then they're actually uh, slowly, once again, uh, doing all of the uh, expansions. So there's Dragonflight that's on now. Or you can play WoW Classic, which is now in Wrath of the Lich King, which is like the third Mm -hmm. expansion. Yeah. So at some point, they're just going to get back to Dragonflight. (laughs) That's fucking nuts. But then, you know, Dragonflight will have already been long gone, so there will probably be... More expansions? Yeah, more expansions out. Uh, They'll probably be at the the Revenge of the Cummels or something. (laughs) The Cummening. (laughs) And then... uh, 
come on my face. Yeah, and then, you know, <laughs> everyone will be like, man, Dragonflight was so cool, it but went Revenge down. of the Kummels has yeah, it went, it went down gone down. too far. It's the Kummels game. <laughs> Kummels game. That's fucking, like, um, I, that's not my kind of game anyway. I don't really like MMO type shit. But Me like, either. I think that's, that's like, astounding that... Um, Still around. That it's still around. Still around, still kicking, people still playing yeah, it. You know what I saw um, a video of, and I, this was just like a testament of my own like gamer knowledge. It was like um, I saw a video of somebody like there's these like there's like this fucking like company that sells like old school um, games. I think it's like DK Oldies or something. Okay. I don't even know if this video is from them, but it just makes me think of them. There was a video that I saw of like just somebody like you know. What were the expansion ports on the bottom of a GameCube for? You know, because like there's a generation of people now who have not yeah, played those. Know that there was the, uh, yeah, they never played a GameCube, right? Because yeah. you know that came out what 20, 23 years ago. Yeah. Um, so there's people that you know they're kind of just like you know doing these like little fact videos of like you know what the bottom stuff or like what the thing was for at the bottom of, of yeah, uh you could put the fucking expansion no well, yeah because like, they had these expansion they thing, had these or... expansion ports but like they never really had any accessories for them so the only one that i knew of was the game boy player which you know you connected your uh you connected to your gamecube and you can play game uh, game boy advance games on your um yeah on there, your there's but no but the one the one that i didn't know about was that they did have a network adapter yep and i'm like I'm thinking in my head, I remember like when I thought that, I'm like, I didn't know they had a network adapter, but I'm like, if there was one game, I, I think there must have only been like one game that utilized it. And I thought for a second, I'm like, do you know Do you know what it would be? No. I, I just took a shot, in the, a shot in the dark. I'm like, it's probably like Fantasy Star or something. It was fucking Fantasy Star. Yeah. <laughs> that, was the, that was the only game that ever used it. And I'm like, why did I know that? <laughs> like, I've never played the game. But I just knew that Fantasy Star was like a old like online game, and I don't know. That, I guess that was the only that's the only one that I can think of that was uh, an online game for the GameCube. So I think after the fact, they there was like some people that like made like a cracked version of like um, um, what's it called Double Dash Mario Kart Double Dash, where okay. you could play it online. But again, that was like you know um, that was a cracked version of it. Yeah, because I could see, you know, Double Dash. I could see Animal Crossing. Yeah. Well, see, like, and that's the thing. Is, like, some of those games kind of had, like, functionality, but not really. I think the Animal Crossing one was a link cable thing with the Game Boy Advance or whatever. Yeah. It wasn't an online thing. I know. I played a little bit of the link cable thing with John once because he was playing Wind Waker. Yeah. And I got to be... Um, you got to be a crane or something? No, I got to be What's-His-Face. Nope. Oh. Uh, wears green tights and goes... Tingle. Yeah, Tingle. I was... Tingle. Uh, I, I, I got to... It was the Tingle Tuner. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I got to, like, spawn oh, him crushed. stuff. <laughs> so this is... I like... This is the nature of a Ratchet King. We just play and, like, we're and not we even... Don't, like, yeah. <laughs> I have no clue what you've been doing. Oh, I'm just going than, through... you know, there's I'm trying pretty to, colors. I'm trying to find a ship to get off the planet or something. And go and find Clank. I gotta find Clank, yeah. But the Phantom is part of, you know. So this is a this is a different um, dimension, obviously. So Skid McMarks is like a part of the re rebellion or whatever. So he's the Phantom. Okay. You know what? You know one other disappointing thing I'm going to say right now with this game. Not a lot of Captain Quark. You like he's barely even in it. Yeah, I saw Captain Quark. You know, at the start there. He's, he's pretty much only at the start. You don't really see him throughout the rest of the game. That's which sucks. You know that that's probably why this game doesn't have that much. You know, comedy. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Like, they needed to make this a T-rated game. Get, not like it doesn't have to all be raunchy humor, but like opens it up for that. You know? Yeah, just allow it. Yeah, like when they have stuff. I was like waiting the for Lawrence either. to show up in his. Yeah, Lawrence doesn't show up in this one either, which is a bummer. I, that's what I was thinking. Like, I was waiting for them to inevitably do like instead of nefarious being the villain, like Lawrence should be the villain. Like yeah. in a game, in a game, you know. Who's the villain in the first one? The one... Chairman Drek. Yeah, let's bring him back. He was in the reboot, and then he got turned into a, a sheep. Is there any other villains that I can... Well... There's Chairman Drek, Chairman Nefarious... Dra Chairman Drek and Nefarious. Number two didn't really have, like, a clear-cut villain, because you find out later in the game that, like, 
Um, you were the villain the whole time. His name is you no. Know, his his name is Abercrombie Fizzwidget, and he was he was the villain. But like he's your employer at the beginning of the game. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah, like kind of a villain, but like he's not a boss or anything like that. He's just kind of the one who's like I think he's like the the affable like dumb person who doesn't really know what's going on. Mm. Um. Because then, like, I think ultimately in the end of number two, um, Quark was kind of like the bad guy. Yeah. Because um, he, like, betrays you and whatever. But then he's really not. Yeah. Or maybe, no, maybe I'm thinking of a different one. No, I'm thinking of the first one. That's what happened in the first one. Yeah, Quark was in the first one. The second one doesn't really, I don't remember there being a villain in the second one. Yeah. Because the villain is, like, the proto-pet thing that they're trying to, like, sell to people. Or whatever. Yeah, so I guess it was just It was just like, the protopet. It's just like the threat of the protopet. Yeah. And like Amber Quam- Amber Crombie Fizz Widget like doesn't know what's going on or like the the threat of the of the protopet or something. Yeah, it's just negligence. It's yeah, the, it's I mean. negligence. And then um what the fuck? Then number three was uh Nefarious. Deadlocked was Chairman or Vox or whatever. Yeah. Gleeman Vox, that's his name. Gleeman Vox. Yeah, because that's very show, show host kind of. Yeah. Um, and then, who after that? Then the next one would have been Tools of Destruction, I guess? Yeah. And that one... That was Emperor Tachyon, who was a guy who was trying to... He deceived the Lombaxes or something. Mm, yes, I remember Tachyon. But Tachyon wasn't in uh, Crack in Time. Because Nefarious came back for that one. That's why they, they should have made Tacky on this ones. Like I know it kind of doesn't work, but like they need more, more than just like one enemy. Yeah. Well, then there was uh, Neftin Prague. I think his name was. He was in uh, um, Into the Nexus. I think that was his name, Neftin something. I I always called him Nifkin. <laughs> I know, it's like, yeah, it's like Nefton Prague or something. He's like a big, like, gorilla-looking guy, and then he's got his sister. I forget what her name was. Nifkin G. Oh. Nifkin Prague. Um, yeah, and then they kind of went back to Nefarious for these ones. Did you have a good poop? No, but I got all my parts out. Nice. At least you're honest. About your farts. I didn't want that on camera. Are you kidding me? We have a whole fart series. You got to start contributing. No, thanks. I choose to do it in the middle of the night while you cry. You know what happened to me last night? What? I woke up my wife. To tell her that her farts stink? No, I told her that her butt stinks. Oh, that was only me. To her butt stinks. Oh, really? It's not only me. And then, and then she's like, oh, yeah. And then she like coughed a couple times, and then she farted when she coughed. And I'm like, you just farted. And she's like, no, I didn't. And then I smelled it. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. And then, then we laughed. And then I beat her. Yeah. Well, sometimes you gotta. I mean, you were doing that either way. Oh, Jesus. I <laughs> yeah, I was going to do that either way, but yeah. she asked me to do it. So. It's consensual. Yeah, it's consensual beatings. Not like with my fists. With my but with, words. With, with cupped, cupped oh, hands. shit, eh? She's still got, like, shit in her lungs. Oh. So she's like, oh. hit my cupped, cup, cup my back and hit it. Oh, no, I, no, I, so I that the, I just discovered what it is. So that the cummels come out of my, my, my <laughs> lung. The cummels. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah. Damn I cummels. Did, I did that. I'm like, I'm beating Hi. the shit out of you. And she's like, Greg no, just, just the coughs. God and that's Greg a plus Cummel. of getting married, I guess. Yeah, you get to beat your wife consensually. Yeah. Or husband, you know. Yeah. <sighs> she was smacking me around in bed last night. I like to picture that, uh, like you got up when? on top of him. And you were fucking sack tapping me. You were fucking <laughs> re- reaming on my, on my junk. You were just you going. Did that to me. No, I was spanking your bones. You sack tap, sack tapping her. Like this, and then I. The yeah, I was just like. Intrusive thoughts took over. I was just I was caressing like, you gently, and then you started smacking not, me not in my like junk. Not actually hurting. Speak for yourself. Okay. You know what my wife does? Never sack taps me. 
Can't relate. <laughs> Can't relate. Man. That's like the first time I've ever done that. That is please. not fucking true. <laughs> I'm not an ounce of when truth was the that. last time? I mean, that time. Like last night, but then prior to that? I don't know. Exactly. Probably throughout the week. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, we have a, a strict no hitting each other rule. Yeah. In our relationship. I mean, we're not actually hitting each other. No, there are love taps. Yeah, we don't even love tap. It's not even love Should taps. Should I go back for the rare titanium or just leave it's it? It's like this. Oh, I'm going to leave it for you. Yeah, that's like what I was that. doing, and then you were fucking, fucking smacking me right in the dick. Not like that. Oh. It, I was not that's fucking still, hitting you. That's still, Do that's not still say a lot. this <laughs> in front of a microphone. I would not fucking hit you. Please. I'm just joking. Yeah, I just hit her with my words. Yeah. That's, that's the only kind of violence we have. <laughs> I just think of, of Tourette's guy. He says, bitch, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Mm. Oh. oh, that's good. We come to this planet actually in a minute here. Mm. Oh, that's good blue. The blue? Mm-hmm. All right, Billy. I think I think I'm gonna get to a nice safe spot here, okay. and then um, we'll call it a day on this game, and then we'll play another game. Sounds good to me. What do you think? I literally just told you before. Great. You <laughs> <laughs> yeah, th this game is is like it's a good game. It's very like kind of um, if you've played the Ratchet games, you kind of know what you're getting into. Yeah. It doesn't really, um, as far as I'm certain introduce a lot of new mechanics or anything like that but it doesn't have to it's like a nice cozy sweater you pull out of the closet and you're like oh yeah i remember this oh and you find twenty dollars it smells like farts i love it i remember when i used to eat pecans all the time pecan farts pecan farts pecan sandies yeah All right, we got a couple minutes. I'm gonna try and get off this planet here. All right, can I skip this? Nope. Yes, yes I can. No, it's I don't a, know what happens. <laughs> it's a, I just want to get through this part. So this is like a, a little like. You're playing as glitch. The you're playing as glitch from Glitch in the System. <laughs> yeah, that's like a little mini game thing. You can skip these actually in the game, but I'm gonna do this one because whatever. Isn't Glitch in the System? Um, That's a game. Yeah, but what game? Metal Arms Glitch in the System. Yeah, that's right. I have a copy of it. We can play it. Love that game. It was pretty good. It's uh, a little dated now, maybe, but it's still pretty good. I guess it, it's a classic game. That was the only uh, game that that developer made <laughs> before they got shit canned. So, or at least dissolved. Yeah. They got dissolved into like other, like other studios or something. I forgot what they were. It was Swing and Ape Studios, but then they got uh, dissolved or like bought out by somebody else or something. You know what that reminds me of for no fucking reason? I was thinking about it the other day. You remember the game um, Beyond Good and Evil? Yeah. Um, I know there's supposed to be a, like a two. At some they're point. making a sequel, but they announced <laughs> they announced it like straight up. I think I looked it up the other day. It was like. 2010 or 11 or something is when they announced it. Yeah. Or maybe even like earlier than that. I forget. I know they've done a couple of announcements. Like they announced it a long time ago. Yeah. And then there was radio silence for like ever. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Like so the original game came out in like 2001. Yeah. 2002 at the latest. And then they announced a sequel for it. Like many years later. And there still hasn't been any development on it at all. They released like a trailer like a couple of years ago. And that's been the last thing. And I'm pretty sure I looked it up, and it's like it's one of those games with like the longest like publicized development cycle of any game ever made. <laughs> yeah, like next like, to like I know, Star Citizen or something yeah, like Star, that. Star Citizen's been <laughs> going for a long time, and then I know Duke Nukem, Duke Nukem Forever. Yeah, but that was about 14 years that game took to come out. Yeah, um, but that one I think was mostly because it was passed from studio to studio to studio. It wasn't like 
I don't feel like it was a, a case where they were working on it for the entire duration of that time, unlike something like Star Citizen. But like, but like with Beyond Good and Evil, it's like nobody even remembers the first game. So why are you making a sequel to a game that nobody remembers? Yeah, at this point, we're just making a remake. Just make it a new. Yeah, it might as well be a brand new game. I think it's supposed to be a prequel anyway. It takes place before the first game, so it's like okay, that's good because nobody remembers the first game. <laughs> I played it and beat it. It's pretty good. I just... I don't think I ever beat it. I think uh, I played it for a little bit. I played it and I beat it, and then, you know, that was kind of it. It's good, but... Oh man, I'm going to stop playing the game right when we get to Rivet? Yep. I like your little tuft of hair. It's cool. In the front? Yeah. Yeah. I like the, um... The earrings? Yeah, the earrings. Yes. I think they shifted her voice up or something. Because that's Jennifer Hale. Yeah, they probably just shifted it up. I think they shifted it up. We're under attack. Anyone, clearly. So they bring back the hover boots in this game. I don't think we get them for a little bit. But like the way in which they work is pretty fun in this game. Um... Because, like, there's a there's almost like a... Uh, it kind of reminded me of Metro. There's a level later where it's, like, this really big open space. And it's super fun because you get the hover boots and you can go really fucking fast. So that's, like, something that I really... Um, I like what they did with that. I wouldn't mind seeing more of that type of stuff. Metro's such a good game. Did you ever Seriously? finish it? Did you ever finish uh, nope. Exodus? Nope, not yet. Oh, man, you gotta go. You gotta go do that. I know I do. I'm surprised you haven't finished it yet. Because <laughs> I know that's like one of your favorite games. <laughs> it is. I just, I, like I had gotten stuck oh. in uh, in the fucking desert last yeah. time I played it. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm playing it on Ranger Hardcore course, the first time. Of course you are. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm trying to be nice and not kill all these slave people. Yeah. So that I can get the good ending. And... Uh, yeah, I'm just kind of like in a tough place, rocking a hard place. Yeah. I get you. All like, right. Well, yeah, I just need to buckle down. Yeah. And then just fucking go and, like, murder all these bitches. Yeah. All righty. Well, well, I'm going to call it a day for this game. Next time we'll play as Rivet. Damn, man. I hope it's more riveting than the first half. What, were you bored? No. Are you, are you not entertained by this? Go ahead. All right, well, gladiator quote? I don't know, whatever. Russell Crowe? Yeah.